Welcome back everyone, this is Animation 4 and we are playing some more F2B Resurrection. Now as you can see I'm in a creative world because I've been playing around with the, the Blast Furnace a bit. First thing, yay I got it to work. Second thing, ah! This is hard. Uh, so, the, what I need right now, what I'm trying to do with this is get silicon so I can start an ME system. Which is, normally you just, you just you smelt the plastic or whatever. Or you smelt the quartz. No, you actually take silicon and you put it in this blast furnace, which is a thing I've been making the whole time. But, it takes 120 EU per tick. Which, is medium voltage. So, uh, I was like, yeah, advanced diesel generator, right? No, because I found out aluminum... Hey, guess what you need to make aluminum? You need a working blast furnace. So you gotta get a bunch of low voltage and get them all working to get it to go. I don't need this. This is just a test to see if it was um, using more power than I was producing. I will probably be using these later because these are actually like storage. But I don't need it. I think this thing's about to shut off. No, it's good. Oh, cool. Yeah, so this produces silicon once every 75 seconds using a silicon dust in the input bus. I was going to make input hatches originally, but then I found out those are liquids. The only problem is, to do this, we need duct tape. <laughs> I think it just broke now. Really? Guess. Isn't that it's, it's such a great sound. This game has some interesting sounds. Like, listen to this. Okay, this will tell you the progress. It's at 11 seconds. If it turns red, that means, for the most part, it means it ran out of power. But it shouldn't, because I just found out it's using as much power as I'm producing. This should be a problem. Right? You want to get me up to four? I guess we'll find out in, like, 50 seconds. So, you see this thing right here? It's got, it's got a little bit of duct tape on it, right? However... We can't actually make duct tape yet. Because it's the Brain Tech Aerospace Advanced Reinforced Duct Tape, FAL84. Can't fix it with this, use more of it. It's like real life, right? Um, so, this takes rubber sheet, raw carbon mesh. We can make all this stuff. Um, we can get glue, I think that's from sticky resin. However, 64 EU per tick which required an advanced assembler, which requires, hey, aluminum, which requires a working blast furnace. This isn't working anymore. That is not good news. There aren't any problems, are there? No, it's running perfectly. So that's bad news. <laughs> Apparently that thing was useful. Let's try adding another diesel generator. Why not? Hopefully nothing blows up. No, sorry. That means I also need to add another thing. I need to totally move everything around. You go there. Another bus there. Cable's connecting to that. Look how cool this is. It, like, retextures it according to what it's connected to. That's so cool. Okay, now it's getting more power than it needs. This should be producing 5 to 32, 160 EU per tick. I'm guessing the cable's losing some. That's the problem. I don't have a maintenance hatch anymore. I can't even do this. It's too many hatches. I need a maintenance hatch. Well, maybe I don't. So, so j j you're probably a little confused about, unless you know what a maintenance hatch is already. Basically, when you first place this thing down, not only is it going to tell you that it's just not built right, incomplete structure. You see all these things right here. Pipes loose, screws missing, something stuck, plates dented, circuitry burnt out. That doesn't belong there. Apparently that's all in this little thing. The maintenance hatch, which is this block right here, weird crafting recipe, would be part of the multi-block structure. And it's just like a little gearbox type thing, which you'd have access to. You see how it says pipes are loose. So what you'd have to do is you'd take a wrench and you'd use it on there. It consumes some durability, but the pipes would no longer be loose. Apparently these things 
quote unquote break down. Okay, we got four. That's good. You, you gonna keep generating? No, oh, no, enable. Th these things quote unquote break down, or they regain some of these, but it gets all of them at the beginning. The problem is, which is why I need to duct tape, circuitry burnt out. I had to search it. it requires a soldering soldering iron. But for some reason, the soldering iron's disabled. There's one from forestry, but that's not it. There's all this soldering wire. There's no soldering iron. So I believe this circuitry burnt out can't be fixed. Unless you use duct tape. <laughs> Just cover it with duct tape. So that's why that was there. And this isn't working anymore. Are you kidding me? Maybe I do need that battery box. That's weird. Okay, I need to make a battery box, which means I need batteries. What else does that mean I mean? <laughs> what else does that mean I need? Okay, so what is that? Um, insane voltage IV. Ludicrous. LUV. ZPM. Max. Okay, low voltage battery buffer. How much is this? This is not expensive. Um, then I need to make batteries for it. Acid batteries, mercury batteries, cadmium, uh, lithium, sodium, sodium dust, glauconite. You get it from that. I think I can get sodium one way or another. Or at least maybe lithium. I don't know. Probably not. This isn't centrifuged. Lepidolite. Lipidolite. Uh, is that actually... There is actually lithium. Okay, that's... That's good. So I'll just have to find some battery power thing and make a canning machine. And to make the battery hull, you need battery alloy, which means I also need to find... I've looked at the battery alloy before. I need antimony, which I haven't found yet. And then that'd just be a canning machine. I'm not going to do any of the fluid ones because they take like fluids. Like mercury. Yeah, the acid and mercury. I'm not going to do those. So I'll get some of these batteries. I'll drop them in one of the boxes. And hopefully we get this thing to work. By the way, I haven't had any explosions testing. I just, I've just had cables burst into flames. So a little bit safer than I imagined. But yeah. So the duct tape problem, however. Uh, we can't make duct tape yet. So... That's out of the picture. Every one of these errors that you still have increases the required energy by 10%, which means this required energy is going to go from 120 EU per tick to 132, which this is producing 160, so there shouldn't be a problem there. But for some reason, apparently there is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to retry something. I'm going to not put any cables, just connect the diesel generators straight up to it. See if that works. Yeah, this is what I've been doing for the past hour. It's hard. Um, put something there. There. And then there. And then... There. Okay. Will you work? Will it blend? Or will it smelt? Okay, those are all powering up. No problems yet. No, we're good. Um, do they all have power right now? Yes, they're all running. Go. No. It's not working. 46. It means it doesn't. It isn't getting power. One of these isn't powering it. Is it like powering down or something? No, it's not. Let's see, that is 7377 liquid. When I powered it, it should drop in liquid. It is. So it's using up the fuel. Just isn't. I'll, I'll have to do the battery thing. Man, that's annoying. Oh, oh well. Back to the real world. Yeah, sh
There we go. Now back to the real world. Wait, why was I digging? I don't know. So, back in here, whatever you want to call this place. <laughs> this place. Uh, I've been doing some stuff. Uh, mainly over down here. Well, this looks like the blast furnace, doesn't it? It's like the same thing. They're twins. Uh, I made this, a basic bending machine, which makes plates, which is really nice. Um, so that, I <laughs> used up all my steel though, so yeah. Uh, so that will actually really help because steel plates now only take one steel instead of two, which will take them out of steel and cut it in half. I believe I still need like 16 steel, uh, 16 more steel plates, so I need like five steel. Come on, do you have five steel? Of course you do. I looked ahead. Um, <laughs> uh, so I just throw these in and make plates. I needed to make an integrated circuit, but that was just um, one of these. But now the circuits take so few materials now that I have the wire mill and, and plate bending machine. I calculated it out. It's like five copper, eight redstone three steel, one tin, and that's it for a, a circuit, which is crazy cheap. So I made three. So once these steel things are done, dun, 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 dun. Um, which they almost are. One more, there. So these are done. I should now be able to make some buses. Beep, 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 beep. No, the... Uh, bench. Lots of these machine casings. I'm pretty sure all these need to be turned into the... the... these things. The imagination ones. <laughs> imagination blocks, that's what they are. So I think that's what I need. Yep. And then... bus... They're all imagination blocks. Okay, so... Yeah. The maintenance hatch, I believe I have everything for. Screwdriver, wrench, wire cutter, hammer, crowbar. So... Screwdriver... Wrench... Wire cutter... Hammer... Cr I'm totally all along. Um, file... Saw... Soft hammer. So, file. Saw. And the soft hammer is just a hammer used. The soft hammer is just a hammer that uses soft materials. So, maybe one of these replaces the soldering iron. Like the file or something. I don't know. But there is no soldering iron. That, that's what I do know. So, for the buses. Uh, I need chests. Hissing input outputs like yeah that's that reversed. Do I have any wood here? Probably not. Probably not. One second. One misses C P. Ha. One second. Clearly. And the last thing is not the buff, the muff. The muffler hatch. Which requires steel fluid pipe, of course it does. Hey, that's six more steel. Yay. Give, give, I guess give me, give me... Give me two seconds this time. I can, I'll get this working. One. Mississippi. Two. Mississippi. Ha ha. I did it. It's so now just one more imagination block. I got the muffler hatch. And... Now I'm pretty sure I have everything at this point. I have the heat-proof machine casings, I think well more than I need. The three circuits for the thing. Um, do I still have two cables? I probably do. The last thing I need is just some furnaces. Let's make some furnaces. Yay! Okay, so the casing, some circuits, tin cable. We got the blast furnace. Um, last thing I still need to make is the coils. 
using the couponic wires that I saved a ton on by switching by switching my insurance. No. But building stuff, I saved materials. And I broke a bench. Should just file down another. Is that hammer down another? File would make more sense there. Just saying. Okay, I think that's everything. Except having a place chosen to put this. But right now, I'm just going to put it back here with everything else. This is where the fuel is. It's going to be the easiest place to get access to this fuel. And just in case it explodes for some reason. And I am going to put a roof over, so don't worry. Um, right here. Okay, so let's put the maintenance hatch right next to it. I'll put bus right here just so I have easy access. The input bus can then go right here. And obviously I'm going to need more of... I didn't even make them. Wow, I'm a dummy. Um, the energy hatches. I need like five. Actually, I need four if I do the battery. Not dynamo. Energy. So I need four more things, which is more steel. Yay. I have one. I can make one. So I can at least get this thing, like, multi-blocking. Yeah, that's a word. So, let's just, let's just make this real quick. Give me zero seconds this time. Yeah, I didn't have to count that. But I didn't even have to count to zero. So I don't even know how to. So let's put up these coils. Which hopefully will not catch my butt on fire. These things look really cool. And then this... And right on top goes the muffler. Bloop. Everything turned green. Ha! It turned green. And then, yeah, everything's wrong with it. That's always the funny part. Let me go get some tools. I'm going to just go crazy on this thing, fixing every problem it presents me. That's always fun, right? And I kind of want to try everything to see if I can uh, fix the burnt circuit problem. Get rid of these flax seeds. No one likes you. Um, saw, probably don't need a knife, but I will try it anyway. Maybe I'll need a plunger. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. Maybe there's some fluid in the circuit. That's why it fried. I'm going to just plunge it out. Plunge it out? No. I do need to use the wrench. Right? I need to use the wrench. Stop. Oh, yeah, I fixed it. Okay, screws are missing. Screwdriver. Something is stuck. I think that's crowbar. Not stuck. Plates are dented. That would be hammer. Something is stuck. What do I use if something's stuck? Wire cutters. I don't know. No. Fire plunger? 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 No. I thought that'd be crowbar. Um, file? No. Let's look at the Greg Tech list of tools. Yay. What didn't I use? Wrench, crowbar, file, plow. Branch cutter. I think I've tried everything. Maybe a soft hammer. Yes, it was a soft hammer. And then, of course, circuitry burnt out. Which I don't believe I can solve. Unless I use duct tape. Which is just bad. <laughs> bad that that's the case. Not bad that I have to use duct tape. Duct tape's awesome. Now, I gotta get this thing powered. Yeah, that's always the fun part, which means I need five of those. That's a lot of my precious fuel. Oh, let's go do something else. This is this this is making me a little angry at the mod. Let's let's do something fun. And you know what's really fun? The color blue. You know it's even funner than the color blue. Blue redstone. Yeah, I got some blue stone wire. 
It was pretty easy to make. I think it was just, um, I made it a while ago. I think it was the, either Tesla Tite or Nikolite, and then some silver. So, and that was just an induction smelter. So I got this stuff. I'm not making any circuits just yet, but that will come. Not not any like little like and gates or gate gates. That's what I'm trying to say. Not circuits. Um, inside here is the auto spawner somewhere. Right there. There it is. I think this would power it. I'm not entirely sure, but I think. If I had a redstone lamp, I'd test it. Oh, you know what? Hey, hey, hey. This thing gets a little bit of red a little bit of ghost stone. That's, that's, that's almost, almost there. Yeah. Check it out. Imp improvisation. Greg Tech! Never mind. I guess we're just gonna wait and see. It does. Cool. Because I did not want to heat the lever up here. Uh, Okay. I'm gonna cover this thing in conveyor belts. Then I'm gonna get doing stuff. I'm done with my awesome little thing here. That is just kind of for fun. Uh, so I got this conveyor belt here. And every so often, should be more common than this, but a horse will pass by and I can take a look. Yeah, he's got. He's not good. And then he'll disappear. I'm not quite sure where they go. I'm pretty sure they're going to. Um, an adoption agency where they're going to be given great homes. On a completely unrelated note, I found this glitch where if we put a tank behind a chest and a crafting table, it'll start filling up with meat. Isn't that exciting? Um, so yeah, yeah, this guy's, that guy's horrible. Um, I got a spawner down here, which is spawning them, and then I just, they just pass by. If I find one that I like, let me wait for one to spawn. This thing's running really slow, and I don't know why, but it bothers me. Work is full. Does she just, she just spawn? You set. You just, you just go spawn something. There you go. So let's say this guy is just amazing. He's like a three-three and a one-zero jump height. I'd see that. I'd be like, "Whoa, this guy's great." I'd yank this lever, and it'd just halt the system. Conveyor belt stop, and I'd be able to take him out. This guy is literally the worst. I've never seen anyone worse than this horse right here. One, two, three, seven. That's like this. I can probably sprint faster than that. Then I just unpull the lever and it'll continue on its, its merry little way. On another completely unrelated note, I found this block back here. It seems to have some pink slime in it. We're going to do something with that at some point. I just need to grab a bucket of the stuff. Once we get enough. But it seems to only generate... Not very often. Maybe every time a horse goes by, some... Some some meat appears, and I don't know I don't know what that's about. But, but this tank is filled up with essence, as I as I see now. Uh, this mob system is just doing wonders. It's actually filled with bows apparently, and carrots and chicken and potatoes. We can make a stew out of the mob drops. That's good news. Yeah, we we have the meat more extra meat for the stew. We can have like a nice meaty broth. Yeah, let's, let's make random mob stew. Gonna be delicious. So do we have do we have enough pink slime yet? We do. Haha. -ha. Grab. We got a pink slime bucket. Now what we do is we place this down, and then wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Probably know what happens. It flows away and next knocks out all our torches. Yep, that's what happens. Let's put it over here where it's not gonna flow away. Are you being a jerk right now? Let's put it at the bottom of this canyon. Do something interesting. Pink slime is lame. Is it changing color? Oh, yes, it did something interesting. And we didn't get a slime ball. Awesome. All that for nothing. Who's next? I must critique you now. Yeah, but, yeah. That's that. So that's probably going to end off the episode here. Um, I have a lot more steel to make. I may actually make additional blast furnaces. It's crazy, right? 
Uh, that's going to be a lot of bronze and a lot of copper and tin. I need to go mine. So more, more fun big mining trips. And yeah, it'll make a bunch of steel. Uh, I may look into getting steam power. So if you know um, Whalecraft steam power, it uses big boilers. I used that in my last series. And you pump those into whatever you can use, like industrial steam engines. But Greg Tech has steam turbines, which does the same thing. And it also adds its own boilers, I believe. Its own multi-block boilers, which 3x3x5, three three that is large. So you may end up making a large bronze boiler at some point. Just to get enough power to start setting up the ME system. I want this ME system. I've been dying to play um, with ME or AE2 in a mod pack ever since it came out. It's just like, come on, just let me let me use it. Let me make complicated crafting systems and play with channels and smart cables. You're not you're not that good. But that's going to end up the episode. I'd like to thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.